Hey, boys. This song's about whiskey, y'all. Hush, little Jimmy, don't you cry. I like to describe the Whiskey Treaty Roadshow as like if you took five of your favorite bands and then like snagged the lead singers out of each one and threw them up on stage and made just the best man band ever. <laughs> Going out, five songwriters sitting next to each other telling stories. That's pretty much what the Roadshow is all about. It's very inspiring. I look at the set list and I realize I love all the songs we're gonna play and that they have created them. That's really a cool thing. Everyone writes folk music, I would say, but everyone kind of comes at it from a little bit of a different angle. So it seems very complimentary. It doesn't feel like it's five people writing the same types of songs over and over. You don't get to do these types of things too often in this scene. I mean, a lot of times it's more of an individual effort, which can be great in a sense. You know, you can kind of really explore your own wants and needs in the business, but being able to work with everybody in such an intimate way is just special. Playing on each other's songs allows for everyone to kind of bring what they do well to the table. It definitely has some themes that resonate with people. People seem to really like the idea of whiskey. <laughs> it's been just like a real feel-good thing. I think people have kind of rallied around the cause. Greg is like all Franklin County, like Western Massachusetts. I think of Greg, I think of the Deerfield River. We often start with one of his songs, and it always just gets us where we need to be, gets us to the right place. Hanging round, it ain't enough. Wanna get back to where I stood when I was just a little rough. It's just hanging round. When you make it tough, all I wanna do is try to keep a little faith before I give up. Just like go for the ash. Come before the storm, whiskey in my glass, for I drove on down the road. Well, I sing this song about you, hope I ain't lost touch with the simple things about you. I've grown to love so much. I wrote Oak and Ashes about Western Mass, about how I miss it so much, and I haven't written a song like that ever, where it's like a love song, but it's just to the place that I grew up. Take me now to the place I know Where the hardwoods grow and the salmon falls are flowing through the rock and stone Feel the heartbeat of the land It's me harder than the city can Give the sticks and stones will make my home Then I'm gonna make my stand Just like oak for the ash like a fighter before the blow Whiskey in my glass Before I threw it down the road When I sing this song about you Hope that I ain't lost The place that I came up For the road That I had crossed oh -ho.
There's so many things that make Western Massachusetts an amazing place to be. The first facet that comes to mind would just be the natural beauty of the place. The hills, the trees, and the winding roads. And there's a sense of movement, I think, through the way the mountains interact with the road networks and how the roads follow the rivers and how the rivers flow somewhere and they originate from the mountains. It's kind of the type of place that's so universally pleasing that I can't imagine why anybody would have trouble enjoying themselves. Western Massachusetts is special to me because it's home, you know? I think that the outer landscape becomes part of your inner landscape and then that's the context for every other place you see and everyone you meet. There's good music in Western Mass too. There's a lot of good freaking music. Mister, won't you stop and take me back to Franklin County on that music line, live it down among the apples and the Columbine. Let the river roll around me like a pumpkin vine. Take me back to Franklin County on that music line. Well, I came out here because I heard it was a paradise. And the lemon trees and the livings had an awfully nice. I've actually, I've played his tunes in shows before by myself because I like them that much. It's worth covering, but getting to sit there with him and actually, you know, work together is pretty amazing. Last night I slept on a concrete load and died. I think it's important to know where you come from because it's the lens through which you view the world. It's the context that you bring to every other place that you go. It's connected to community. It's connected to your friends and your family. And uh, that means a lot. <laughs> if you don't know where you're coming from, it's kind of hard to know where you're going. Looking back on your life's changes is a pretty important aspect of growing as a person. Being a songwriter, especially a folk songwriter, you really have to know where you're coming from not just on the timeline of yourself, but what vantage you want to take, what perspective you've got going. Because you need to be expressing things. It's not about creating something for the heck of it. It's about honoring something. So you need to really meditate on it and, and figure out what you're trying to say. I think a lot of times there's like very obvious things that happen in life where people go through hardship and they write about that in a very deliberate way. And some people do that really, really well. What I like to do is look for like little pockets of life that haven't really been explored further. For me, it's a way to shine light on things that I think are worthy of being discussed or presented in a different way, but that aren't always. So that's where I feel kind of like a songwriter who's worth anything. <laughs> I've seen love go right past my window In shapes strange, in shapes familiar I've got lullabies longer than your restless eyes Hold your breath so deeply then let go Oh, 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 and I'm just walking backwards Looking for my mother's arms Singing songs I'll know when I am old Oh, oh, old and if you'll walk with me, turn to the light and presently, 
Load up the boat and row until the shore disappears. And I've known bread lines longer than the grapevine with fruits you'd pick forever when you're hungry. And I've known good friends watch as they slowly descend into the night and disappear here and I'm just thinking about you and all the miles I'd run through and I would part the seas just like a fool oh 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 and that's what fools do at least that's what they're supposed to when they're feeling foolish and in love when they're feeling foolish and in love Dave's song, he chooses the details with such care and makes it so vivid that for me as a writer, that's inspiring. And I've seen thunder over the ridge and under, load up the car and drive until it passes. And I've been scared and faithful, I have been so grateful for everything that's past and all that's yet to come. And if I need forgiveness, I don't mind the darkness. And if the stars are writing out my name, a -a -a and if we get to tomorrow, filled with joy and sorrow, I know I'd be glad that I came. I know I'd be glad that I came. I think a lot of times as a songwriter, you kind of feel like you're out there in the wilderness. You're working on your batch of songs and like you're working on performing and making recordings and like trying to cultivate an audience. It's like frustrating after a while. You're kind of like, I just want to, you know, do this for the joy of making music. But if you have any ambition for it, you don't want to be playing for nobody forever. So this has been like such a great way to like introduce people to different songwriters, different audiences. And then you do have this sort of built up experience, which you really feel like connected because of that pursuit and then you go back to kind of like being alone but you know that there's like all these other people out there who are kind of doing the same thing you really feel like kindred spirits with them you know folks always see things a bit differently you can experience things on your own and you can think about what your experience was and you can meditate on the topic but a lot of times it takes somebody else to shine light on a different area of the room sometimes we can overlook things maybe things that were important even, and so having other people involved is a good way to make sure we all stay open-minded about it, you know? Not to mention, it's like a lot more fun. <laughs> you can't feel happiness unless you have someone to bounce that feeling off of. I'd say stylistically, Tori is a purveyor of wonderful vibes and is like the good energy guy. He's like the guy in basketball who can do everything, but primarily makes like all his teammates better. He's like a point guard. He's a really talented guy and a great songwriter in his own right, but I think he really shines by allowing everyone else to shine as well. But he's sort of such a natural at it that it seemed like if there is a ringleader, he's probably the ringleader. Stormy weather in the 
this thing together Oh, the sun might shine forever Forever One, two, three, four After playing music for a while, you start to meet a lot of different people, and some of them you could tell right away what their intentions are, kind of good or bad, or why they first got involved in music. It was really clear right away that all of these guys were in it for the same reason that I am, which is just for like really loving it, not being able to have an off switch where you just stop making music. Playing with these guys the past few days, just like making our videos and doing our shows, it's like we're, you know, it's like a band of brothers. <laughs> it's not just playing the music, it's making it with these guys. I think in some ways the Whiskey Tree is about honoring each other's work, working with people who care about what they do and who listen. You know, when we're on stage, I feel so supported and I feel like everyone there feels supported and feels like there are four guys there who have their back. And that's, uh, that's a powerful thing. <sighs> it's a very complex and broad reaching thing to be trying to play music it can really kind of bring you down a little bit because there's so, you know, there's, there's, there's so much involved that isn't music. Having other people kind of stand by you in this treaty, you know, it can really be very supportive, which is quintessentially to me what this is all about. It's as simple as just not thinking about yourself, you know, thinking about the group and thinking about what we can do together. The treaty really just represents a shared experience and a shared desire to be bigger than yourself. Well, I admit I've had a drink or two. If you'll admit ain't no one could ever mean what I mean to you. And I admit it's quite the same for me. You'll admit the best things in life never come easily. So leave your light on, baby. Leave your light on. Leave your light on, and you know I'll leave my light on you. Leave your light on, baby. Leave your light on. Leave your light on, and you know I'll leave my light on you. Billy Keen is amazing. Out of anybody I've ever played with, like, he's the most beautiful voice I've ever heard. He is a soulful musician. Well, I admit sometimes I spend all day in bed. If it weren't for your sweet voice to get me out instead. If you'll admit he's saying every single night of the year. If it weren't for me to bring you out and sit at the bar and bend your ear. So leave your light on. Wouldn't you like to see 
say that we both are bound for glory in our own separate ways. There are miles between us, the blood runs thick and deep. If I only get one promise, it's a promise I will keep. I'd say, hey, mom, you ain't on your own. Hear them dogs out alone, know that I ain't far from home. If you'd rather hang around, I'll be back in the back and go. Then we both got time to waste. Why don't we both that time to catch up by the phone? Yeah, what is the deal with whiskey? What is the deal with whiskey? <laughs> whiskey is delicious. It's a social lubricant, I guess. Whiskey is the drink of the hills. If you're playing folk or Americana, I don't think there's any escaping whiskey. I don't know. <laughs> I just love it. I think it's shorthand for like, having been there and like experienced some of the harder side of life and that sort of thing. We're songwriters, you know, half the time we're just sitting there staring at the wall thinking about something. So it takes a glass of whiskey to, to get us going. Whiskey is, a, is an interesting theme, but it's certainly not the, at least in my opinion, it's certainly not the, uh, the goal, you know? <laughs> I have like one or two glasses of beer and I'm good. I'll like wake up with a headache and, so I may be the teetotaler of the group. Someone brought whiskey up onto the stage the first night, which was so nice. So that was cool. First one was fine. And then they brought the second round of drinks. And I was like, oh, I guess we gotta drink another. I don't know if this is gonna be an every night thing, but let's do this. And then I like sipped on it and put it down. <laughs> which is not the right way to drink whiskey. We all see the same old shine It stars above our homes But I'd rather hang around The back of a bag of bones So just see them stars burning bright Feel the earth beneath you bite Breathe the air in your lungs Know that we are all just one Tonight Thank you so much.